Hello, and welcome to another Subterranean Press unboxing. Uh, so, Hard Stops, early wall drop, uh, recently shipped. Just got that. And fresh on its heels is some T. Kingfisher. This, my friends, is Nettle and Bone by T. Kingfisher. Uh, which is the first Kingfisher novel to receive the subpress treatment. It sounds like it won't be the last. Uh, we might be seeing a house with good bones, for example. Uh, first of all, one thing that's really cool about this novel is that it just won the Hugo. So congratulations to T. Kingfisher. Um, T. Kingfisher. Here is uh, Quotes in the Warehouse bookmark that comes with it. I hate it when my family stories sound like the opening to a Joe Lansdale story. It's the same quote from the wall drop uh, one, which means you're going to have the same books in the back, including The Way Home and Late Returns. Very excited about that. So yes, Nettle and Bone. Nettle and Bone is uh, now a Hugo Award winning novel by T. Kingfisher. Uh, once again, it's kind of a smaller trim size like the wall drop. I kind of thought this, this one had a $100 price point. I kind of thought it would be a bigger trim size, but that's fine. Did they forget an art? There was no uh, no author picture, which I guess could make sense. T. Kingfisher is a pseudonym. It's a pen name for Ursula Vernon. So maybe she's kind of pretending to be invisible. You know what I mean? She's Maybe she's not uh, privy to having her picture taken as T. Kingfisher. Uh, very nice artwork by, was it John Jude Palancar? Dude's got a name. Uh, so we've got beautiful cloth-bound boards, Nettle and Bone by T. Kingfisher. I'm actually kind of surprised that Subterranean Press did this. Uh, the reason being that uh, Ursula Vernon uh, had a Kickstarter through Underthing Press, uh, Grim Oak Press's imprint. And uh, so I figured that Grim Oak Press was going to lock down the T. Kingfisher novels. But I believe the T. The T Kingfisher novels... Kind of get, a, they're not horror per se, but I think they kind of delve more into the horror genre. So maybe that's why Subterranean Press snagged them. Because Grim Oak is pretty much just uh, fantasy. Occasionally science fiction, but pretty much fantasy. I got number 160, which matches several of my other limited editions. I don't remember if I, I must have requested it. If I didn't request it and somebody at Subterranean Press just has that file, then you guys are awesome. But if I did request it, cool. Um... So Palancar's artwork uh, is going to be chapter headings as well as printed in multiple colors throughout. Uh, I have not read this, which is kind of my slogan. I have not read this yet. There's no interior artwork other than those little chapter headings, which are not all printed in color? Huh. Maybe it alternates? Or maybe they just said, all right, screw it. The first, the first few pages are in color. <laughs> I don't know. That's how you save costs right there. Um, which it very well could be the case. Uh, the pages are usually printed and folded in signatures, as they're called, uh, which is, I think, like 16 pages at a time. So it might be like that 16 pages were printed in color to get, you know, the whole thing. Beyond that, you're getting black and white, which, you know, it's totally fine. Uh, you might see the same thing with Centipede Press titles. Uh, sometimes you even get different paper stock for Centipede Press titles for different sections. And so you might, you know, see the first, like, a sliver of pages on a different paper stock uh, than the rest of the signatures. Anyways, Nettle and Bone is the story of Mara. She's the, she's a princess. Uh, but she's a princess who uh, doesn't need no man. Uh, she's kind of been shipped off to the convent. See right there? Shipped off to the convent. Um, but she, her one sister, is in abu an abusive relationship with her prince. And so Mara decides that she is going to take matters into her own hands, hands to save her sister. Uh, but the she is told, sent on a quest, that the the method methodology to kill a prince involves completing several tasks. And so it becomes like a fantasy adventure in line, as it was, it was said, it was in line with almost like grim fairy tales. It kind of has that classic fairy tale feel to it. Uh, one of the tasks is to create a bone dog, which is the dog we see throughout the entire publication. Uh, look at that. He looks like a good boy. I can't speak more to that, though, uh, until I read it. But I definitely will read it. I mean, I was going to read it regardless, but now that it's won a Hugo, i got to bump that up the list. 
this is I they said in the description back when I bought this, this is, this was their first public the first title with T. Kingfisher, which hints to me that uh, Paul is working on some other Kingfisher novels as well. Uh, like I said, House of Good Bones is her most recent one. That one's got a lot of praise, uh, so perhaps that's the one we'll see next. Either way, I am down for a gorgeous limited edition. Uh, like I said, it's it's nice that it's not oversized. I mean, oversized is beautiful too. I don't, I have no problem with oversized, but this will fit more easily within my bookshelf. <laughs> Uh, plus, it'd be if it was oversized. Uh, this is already oh, this is two hundred sixty-seven pages. Damn, I was gonna say this seems like it's under two hundred pages. If it was oversized, it would most likely be under two hundred pages, which would be very slim, very slim novel. So I'm fine with that. Um, this is sold out through Subterranean Press. You will have to go to the secondary market if you want to get a special edition copy such as this. Or you can go to several other bookstores that might have copies, including Camelot Books, uh, Grim Oak Press that I mentioned, sometimes carry Subterranean Press titles, so you never know if they might have copies. Or, like I said, if you just want a trade edition, you can find trade editions where books are sold. You might even be able to find a trade edition signed by T. Kingfisher, uh, a.k.a. Ursula Vernon. Um, but yeah, check out Subterranean Press, check out T. Kingfisher, Ursula Vernon, the whole, the whole nine yards. If you want to see a bunch more unboxing videos, including weekly book reviews, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you around next time.